What path lies before me? Open the bloody gate! Nobody gets in! Zevlor's orders! That pack of goblins will be on us any second! What's going on? Goblins are on our tail! Open the gate, Zevlor, now! You let goblins hear? Where is the druid? Please! There's no time! Nine hells! Open the gates! the blade and suffer its sting I'll bleed every last one of you
Sickle and sword. Strike them down! Day, another fight. No gloom, all doom. That was the last of them. Inside, all of you, more may follow. Open the gate. Good. Damn vermin. We're at the fortifications for a wandering band of goblins to try and breach. What drove them to it, I wonder? The horde must have settled nearby. More will come, and more after that. What's inside?
to have a word. The squirrel lunges at your foot and bites it. You follow the squirrel's gaze to a pair of clumsy, ugly feet. Your own, on her territory. Looking around, her territory extends from one end of the grove to another. She studies you for a moment before twitching her ears. Compromise. After a final squeak of warning, break the rules and there will be trouble, she scurries away. the telescope.
you see a dragon circling like a bird of prey, hunting. The telescope points to the left. The telescope points straight ahead. The telescope points to the right. The telescope points straight ahead. running for our lives. You led them straight to us, and you let them take the druid too? Unbelievable! Tell that to the dead at the gate. Shut it, horns! I'd be lying dead next to the goblins if you'd stalled any longer. My duty is to this camp. Oh, God forbid you risk your precious tale. But I shouldn't be surprised. Foul bloods ain't known for courage. You see the tiefling's jaw clench. He's about to erupt. There's too much at stake. Worried about your precious eyes, the both of you. Enough! Squabbling is pointless. The goblins have found us. At least we agree on that. More goblins could arrive at any moment. Uh, I'm more worried about this parasite than a few pack. goblins. We need to leave. Mm -hmm. Forgive that display. Aradin's a blowhard, but that's no cause for me to join him. Thank you for your help out there. I'm Zevlor. Well met. I should warn you, visitors are no longer welcome in this grove. Whatever your business, I'd see to it quickly. The druids are forcing everyone out. This attack will only strengthen their resolve. There have been several attacks by different monsters. The druids blame us outsiders for drawing them here. Nobody's welcome anymore. They've started a ritual to cut the grove off from the world outside. We can't stay, but we'll be slaughtered if we leave. We're no fighters. We're refugees from Elturel. We took shelter here after Knowles attacked us on the road. We were bound for Baldur's Gate, and it was too late to turn back. Elturel had no place for tieflings after the descent. I'm surprised you haven't heard of it. The High Overseer, our Grand Protector, signed a pact with devils. It dragged Elturel straight to hell. Lucky for us, a group of adventurers found a way to bring the city back. Afterwards, people looked at us and just saw Devilkin. No different from the druids here, really. I've tried. Korga, their new first druid, won't even see me. You, though, 
I know it's not your business, but she owes you for saving this place. Perhaps you could persuade her for more time to prepare, if nothing else. Goblin got you. The druid Halsin's a renowned healer, but he didn't make it back from Aradin's expedition. If it's not too serious, you could try his apprentice, Nettie. She's with the other druids in the inner grove. They've withdrawn there to prepare this damn ritual of theirs. Really? We're messengers now? We'd owe you a great debt. If we're forced to leave now, we won't make it to the city. You'll find the druids at the heart of the grove. Please, make them see sense before more lives are lost. Oh. Rested enough. Now, forward. Anyone. He always knew what to say. I need a quick When I was word. homesick. <laughs> Have some respect. This really isn't the time to talk. Refugees, adventurers, no one in years, and suddenly we're overwhelmed. Well met, and thank you for beating back those goblins. Most brave of you. Is there anything you need? I lower my prices for fellow druids, but you'll need to be quick. The ritual will be complete before too long. I know it's drastic, but more monsters seem to terrorize this region every day. We druids will be safe. As for those that took refuge here, well, may Sylvanus guard them as they continue their travels. As I said, it's a drastic measure, but the survival of the Grove is paramount. There just aren't enough supplies to support everyone. Just some bits and bobs I no longer need. What I said. Sylvanus be with you. Can we stop shouting? No? No one stopped me yet. This is about your precious Baldur's Gate. I care about our lives. Our futures. No, you just care about your stupid apprenticeship. Take that. Hells, we can't just leave. They're kin. I'll not gamble our lives, our futures, on people who are as good as dead. We must leave for Baldur's Gate at once. Can we all just take a moment, please? What's the point in blades and spells if we don't bloody use them? We should stay. These people aren't fighters. We can help. Or yell louder. That's fine, too. Thank you. It's the right thing to do, and you know it. She's right, Roland. We're better than this. Zerg. Fine, I'll stay too. Lest you both end up with your throat slit by Goblin Blade. Thank you, Roland. How long until Roland shows off his thunder wave? Depends. I swear that Ox's gaze is following me. Watch 
your back. Hardly a challenge. Mister, let me show you something. Go on, take this ring. It's lucky. Call it heads or tails. Tails it is. See, that's the kind of luck you get from one of my lucky rings. I've got more where that came from. Real cheap, too. Interested? Okay, fair. Let's go again. Heads or tails? Call it. We have heads! There. Happy? Really? I mean, fine. Heads or tails? We got tails! There. Happy? Hey, hold on, you gotta pay for that. You got it. One sec. That's what I got. You bought... You suddenly feel something moving against your back and turn. I can't do this anymore, Mattis. I'm sorry. Uh, hey, are you here to trade or? Yeah, I know. I was standing right here telling her to rob you. I am sorry. Sorry we're still talking about this. Look, you caught her. Good for you. You aren't a chump like everyone else around here. Now, do me a favor. Make room for the chumps. If not over, then through. Hmm. Hmm. He stares right past you as if you're invisible or boring. You see nothing out of the ordinary. As you turn back, the child slips between the rocks. You look the rocks over, but find no sign of a way through. Open too. In Kresh Kalir, a formal greeting begins with a bow. Is this monster with you?
you dare interrupt? Has the tadpole ravaged your senses? Chucky, fine. On the road to Baldur's Gate, near the mountain pass. S saw us, for we saw it. Jammed its blade through Yul's belly. Straight to the other side. And I just... I just ran. The map. Show me. Yes, your mediocre interrogation technique notwithstanding. How long do you think we've got before the goblins come? The last time a subordinate questioned my judgment, I ate tongue stew that very night. King Yank, your tantrum proves you no wiser than a hatchling. The teethling was clear. If there are a Githyanki west of here, that must be our objective. Purification cannot wait. I am unfamiliar with the... well, I shall not say culture. Custom, perhaps. You will educate me on matters of this... fey run. The Kresh holds the Zathisk. It will cleanse us of the Parasite. By covenant, I can say no more. Goblins, druids, this grove is a death trap. Grab what you can and get out. That's my advice. Here goes nothing. You're gonna be sorry, every last one of you. You ain't gonna shoot me. Your hands are shaking. Put it down. She can't fight back. That's the point. Get out of the way! She didn't kill your brother, Arca. You're better than this. Shoot before you lose your nerve, Tieflin. If you ever had it to begin with. Looks like the Absolute sent me a protector. You're gonna kill him too. You, move! <sighs> You're right. I wish you weren't, I really do. Damn you, damn it! Why do you care if a goblin lives or dies? Your soft heart will be the death of us. You'd better be right. It's all right, Arca. Let's go. Oh, you... ain't sure why you're protecting me. Don't care, neither. It's too late to make friends warg me. My tribe's coming. They're gonna burn this pretty place for the glory of the Absolute and hang you by your guts. Goddess, we're burning her name across the face of the world we are. The absolute is gold from the sky she is. The blessing in the storm and the storm itself. My tribe can tell you everything there is to know. Absolute bless one of our own. Priestess Gut got a whole lab set up. Cooks up potions that fix our lads, no matter how much of a beating they take. Could probably stick your head back on if someone was to chop it off. <gasps> Mighty Booyog. Bah! A clever goblin's like a trustworthy geek. A figment of the imagination. It's the truth! I swear on your mother's grave. Get me out of here, and I'll tell you where to find her. Deal? 
Even if you did find my tribe, they'd set the wargs on you. You need me. Get me out of here, and I'll tell them what a good friend you are. Suit yourself. Looking forward to seeing what your innards look like. I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids. And your birdies. Tiring business, isn't it? All this traveling and adventuring. Why don't we take a little break, hmm? Allow ourselves a few moments of rest? Gives me a chance to talk to you about something. Well, rather important. We've been on the road together for a while now, haven't we? Hmm? Survived some perils, overcame some obstacles. Ever since you were kind enough to free me from that stone, I've seen you demonstrate remarkable guile and courage. The way you diffused the tension between Zevlor and Aradin. The way you stood in front of a crossbow to prevent a murder. In short, I've grown to trust you. The reason I make a point of saying this is that I've grown confident enough to tell you something I've yet to tell another living soul. Except for my cat. You see, I have this condition. Very different from the parasite we share, but just as deadly. Thank you for the offer. The treatment for my condition is very specific. What it comes down to is this. Every so often, I need to get my hands on a powerful magical item and absorb the weave inside. I can say no more on the matter. Not now, anyway. Just trust me when I say it's all of vital importance. It's been days since I last consumed an artifact, and before we were abducted. It's only a matter of time before my craving returns. That is why I turn to you. I need you to help me find magic items to consume. It is vital. Dare I say it? Critical. You have my thanks. And fear not. Your implicit trust is well placed and will be rewarded with any and all means at my disposal. I'm sure we won't have to look very far to find what I need. Faerun overflows with magic-infused treasure. As do our packs, as a matter of fact. We have such an item already in our possession. Primed for the moment the need arises. I hope I can count on you. I'm gonna bite the heads off your kids. And your birdies. And your dogs. Hold you. Not now. Having fun with your new goblin friend? Bet you aren't. Thanks for fighting off those goblins. If you need to replace any gear, just ask. My selection's pretty slim. I had to leave most of my equipment in Eltera. Of sorts. Used to be a bread and butter tinsmith before Eltera fell into Avernus. These days, my talents are more eclectic. Learned a lot in my time in the Hells. Hope to forget most of it. But between you and me, there's nothing in all the realms like the utter power of infernal machinery. Alas. My offerings are far more humble these days. Damn druids. Who uses wooden tools? I'm waiting on someone and you aren't him. Do you mind? Hope the goblins are. Good to be back behind the walls, have to say. For as long as that lasts. And reeking of this place. I'll never get the stun. Don't make me hurt you, boy. Too late! Looking at you is painful enough. 
If it ain't the fearless goblin slayer, you sure you want to be seen with me? I ain't exactly popular with this lot. Half my crew are full of holes. Now I'm gonna take the blame for leading the goblins here and losing track of the bloody druid. Alson, he's a leader around these parts. Or was. We've got a contract to track down some relic, and he wanted in on the job. Eyes lit up when he heard about it. Didn't work out, though. Goblins got him when we were turning tail. He's either digging latrines or boiling in a cook pot by now. Don't know what I expected. That much gold for some long lost relic, and from a wizard, too. I should have known. The gold probably turns to lead the moment you leave Baldur's Gate. Stupid thing to die for. If I knew that, I wouldn't be back here with half my crew gone. But look, if you're itching to meet Kellenvor, I won't stop you. It's called the Night Song. We're supposed to be hidden under the temple where the goblins jumped us. I'd give you the map and wish you a happy funeral. But my mate Brian kept hold of it like his own todger. Goblins made sure to the fat old chunk. All I've got's the contract. It'll show you where we turn back, if you feel like dying. <laughs> Don't thank me. I'll be well on my way to Boulder's Gate when you die. Get back, kid. I already told you I don't have it! How stupid are you? How long until Ronan shows up in... Damn! Goblins! Like the sight of blood, do you? Thought you'd have had your fill at the gate. Might be more blood spilled yet, if Zevlor starts in on the lectures again. Oh, very gracious of you. We expected a soft job. Something to test the new lad, maybe, but not a bloody goblin nest. Most would have turned tail at the sight, but not Liam, no. He charged them. The stupid bastard. No. Nah. He must have thought we were following. Always the optimist was Liam. Hope they cut him down quick before he saw we were gone. I'm gonna ask you one more time, boy. Hand over my locket. I don't have your ugly locket. I've never seen it before. Hand it over or I'll slap the teeth out of your head. You threatening me? Understand, the kid stole my locket. He, how oh, the hell's with this? These little devils get away with everything because of cuddly bastards like you. You'll get yours someday. I hope I get to see it. Maybe you will, but personally, I doubt it. See you around. <laughs> We've known enough grief this ten-day, Traveller. Don't be the cause of more. We're exposed now. How long until Roland shows off his thunder wave? Swing and swing. How many people are dumb enough to ask? Children! The Blade of Frontiers. What a thrill for the children. <laughs> They're tough kids. Smart, too. The future's in good hands. Go on. 
Give me a best shot. Not bad. Again. I can't do it. I'm not like you. Umi, I don't need you to be like me. You just have to buy enough time to run. Come on. I believe in you. You can do this. Hmm. You're on the right path, Umi. Go on now. Practice what you've learned. Well met. The Blade of Frontiers at your... The man's smile bends downward. And his thoughts become yours. You are the Blade of Frontiers racing through the wastes of Avernus. Just ahead, a diabolical figure, red skin, single curled horn, blazes with flame, bloodied great axe hell. <sighs> Hell's great fires. You were on the ship. <sighs> you saw her then. Advocatus Diaboli. Advocatus Diaboli. A devil's advocate. A champion in the blood war between diabolical forces and demons. Her name is Karlak. An archdevil soldier I swore on my good eye to kill. I tracked her through the hells to the Mind Flayer ship. But the damned Elithids infected me before I could end her. She's out there now. Preying on the innocent. I don't kill her. She'll leave behind nothing but a trail of corpses. An excellent suggestion, but your party's full up. Still, when the time comes, call for the blade. I won't be long to answer. A splendid plan. We'll talk more there. On the wave. I saw you at the gates. You fight well. A few words for the kids. Spare a story or two. It's that or teach them to beg for their lives. The goblins will chase us to Baldur's Gate, and these kids know it. A warrior like you could lift their spirits. <laughs> Thanks. I prefer when they smile. Please, let us through. It is forbidden. Let my daughter go right now. She's a thief, hell spawn. And you will wait for Corga's judgment. Now get back. Oh, let me through, Mragrashem, or I'll rip your damn throat out. <gasps> Breathe deep and move. I have something to ask. Come, Magrin. Give him a chance. You, get back. Druid or not, you're still an outsider to this place. Entry is forbidden. A moment, Giona. What? Oh, I understand. You! Apparently Korga wants to see you. Go ahead. Your welcome can be easily withdrawn, outsider. Respect our grove, or face our claws. 
Few outsiders are allowed in here. Be respectful and do not interfere. just now, no? When the goblins came? You saw them up close? A few questions, if you please. There's no overstating my interest. Glory. Now then, how would you describe that particular batch of goblins? Size, nature, distinguishing qualities? You search your mind. But remember nothing useful about goblins' social order or behavior. Goblins struck fear and awe in the heart of a wilting witness. A myth weaver. This man has no respect for truth. And the dragon they had marching in the rear, was it of the brass or silver variety? Witnesses failed to notice the obvious dragon. Last question, then you'll be quite free. Did the attackers rally to the absolute when they fell upon the gates? Did, didn't they? Oh, oh, curious. Oh, curious indeed. I've interrogated one, a captive in this very camp. She reports they've abandoned their god, Maglaviet, in favor of someone called the Absolute. The scandal! Never you mind. I'm on my way to their camp as we speak. I always knew my studies in Gukliak would come to some use. My friend, every story benefits from a dragon. Until we meet again. Terra ortum agnostifera. Growth spell, but altered somehow. It's a growth spell. What's the worst it could do? bird knows. She needs to know. You do not. I... forgive me. My love for my brethren is strong. But trust? It is delicate. More follow Korga every day. They are afraid and she offers a simple solution. Eject the refugees, and we will be safe. A druid and an outsider. We can do nothing without turning the others against us. Only Master Hulsin can stop this. I pray my bird returns with news of him. If not, I fear for my people. The ritual is Corgus' decision, but she is not our leader. Master Halsin welcomed the refugees in. I wait for him to resolve this.
By Sylvanas, the Tree Father, our turmoil is calmed. What's in here? Sanguine Uratus. Yes. Yes. This is madness, Korga. She's just a... A what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. The Tree Father's words. Your circle taught well. You know, then, that Sylvanas spoke further. The parasite must be removed for new seed to grow. Yet behold, the parasite lives. She eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Korga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. The words of the Tree Father, spoken plain. It is as you say. Sif, Sif, Tila, to me. <laughs> Out, thief. My grace has its limits. Thank you, Korga. Master Halsin. Halsin isn't here. Keep his name off your tongue, lest Tila pierce it. That woman has more venom in her heart than a snake in its fangs. But at least the child is safe. What is youth if not a time to be forgiven for one's transgressions? Couldn't agree more. The girl wasn't innocent, but that doesn't mean she was guilty. Yet she failed. That's what matters. Please leave. Our hospitality has limits, and they were crossed long ago. What will the tieflings want next? Letting the hell child go was a mistake. You did well to speak up for the girl. That snake is fickle. A tragedy prevented. Nothing befitting a child. Nothing befitting any of our world's creatures. We've let a snake replace our leader. She will see the tieflings driven out, or worse. Master Halsin. Perhaps Goblin caught, perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task. Stop this damned ritual. More will die if the rite is finished. 
So many more, sent into a world gone mad. Ah, I see. You will find her deeper in the caves. Would you? I would give anything to see Halsin return home. Sylvanas's blessing upon you, and my gratitude as well. Halsin is an elf with the presence of a bear. He left west with the adventurers. You won't mistake the first druid for anyone else. I see you. Just give me a moment. A moment. This may be challenging. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? You found her, but I still don't know what she can do for you. Why are you asking? A tadpole? A mind flare tadpole? I... Uh, I'll do what I can. Come, follow me. I might be able to help. We need to be quick. This way. Something in that vessel. This one had the same problem as you. Attacked us in the woods together with some goblins. Tadpole crawled out of his head soon after. Seems so. Gave Master Halson a right start. It's why he joined the adventurers on their expedition. To find out what was happening. A pity you got me instead of him. He understands these things. Studied them. Still, we have options. You don't have to be here for this. Please, don't mind me. I'll just watch. All right. Let's see what we can do. Of course. Now, tell me what's been happening. Any symptoms? Strange events? Victims can identify each other. Not that the others know they're victims, of course. How'd you pick up the parasite? Halson was desperate to find where all this was happening. A mind flare ship? But Master Halson was sure. Look, you've been straight with me, so I'll be straight with you. You're dangerous. If you transform here, we're all dead. But you seem like a good soul. You deserve a chance to save yourself. This is a vial of wyvern poison. Swear to me, you'll swallow it if you feel any symptoms. The thorn? Coated in a fatal toxin. It was a last resort, in case I couldn't trust you. I don't have a cure. Only a way out. I'm sorry for misleading you, but I had to be sure you weren't a threat before I told you everything. Now, do I have your word or not? I hope it doesn't come to that, but... Thank you. Here. You know, I've spent my life treating folk and never once saw a mind flare infection. Then suddenly, there's dozens of you. Maybe more. 
Master Halston and I were tracking, studying, trying to figure out what the hells was going on. Because you should all be changing. There should be a small army of mind flayers out there. But you're not. Weird powers aside, you seem perfectly normal. Mind flayers reproduce by infecting someone with their parasite. Seven gruesome days later, the victim transforms and a new mind flayer is born. The thing in your skull, though, it's different to anything in our records. It's one of their worms for sure. But this one gives you powers, telepathic connections, and it doesn't turn you into one of them. Not yet, anyhow. Could be, but there's a lot we don't know. Infected, folks like you, have been converging on an old temple of Saluna, and I've no idea why. When Master Halson heard the adventurers were heading that way, he saw a chance to get answers, joined on the spot. Whatever he found there, he didn't make it back. I think so. I hope so. I've sent birds to find him, but they can't get close without goblins trying to shoot them down. You, though, you're one of them. Technically speaking, I mean. They won't kill someone carrying their parasite. If you can find Halson and get him out of there, we can discover what he learned. And perhaps he can save your life. How's that sound? Thank you. It would mean everything to the Grove. To me. I wish I could tell you more. But only those adventurers know what happened out there. All I can say for sure is they all went to the old temple of Saluna. And Master Halson didn't make it back. Good luck out there. And if things start to go bad, remember the vial. Remember your oath. Step at a time, Nettie. Come on. That I wouldn't take wyvern poison, even if we do begin to turn. Better a quick draft than ceramorphosis, nonetheless. If you start to turn, I encourage you to take it. I'm sure it'll be very entertaining for the rest of us. That's curious. <laughs> My bed. Any word on Master Halson? He and the adventurers were headed to the ruined temple in the west. Master Halson studied that drow for days, and he was sure something at the temple could help his research. I'm praying he was right. By Sylvanus, another outsider. Should you have an ounce of sense, you will leave immediately. By claw and tooth, from root to thorn, the old oak's grove to wildlings sworn. You recognize the druids as elders of a circle. This place is a divine sanctuary. So that's what you want? To kill a bunch of innocents? I don't want to kill anyone. But I won't let this grove be harmed. Not again. You see a sharp intelligence behind its eyes. Is it a familiar? Or another druid? Enjoying their wild shape?
darkest hour, a concord made, twixt harp and wild against the shade. Local history, written in riddles. In darkest hour, a concord made, twixt harp and wild against the shade. Which way to the nearest library? In darkest hour, a concord made, twixt harp and wild against the shade. Harp and wild? You recall stories of an alliance between druids and the harpers, but the details are vague. No time to rest. Moving in. Very well. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? I know your kind from other circles. You see only villains and victims. A viper bears her fangs, defending her brood. I call her mother. You call her monster. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the rite is resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. A disease of the flower must not reach the root. Pluck the petals, sever the branch if you must, but cut out the rot before it infects the whole of the wood. Teachings of the Tree Father. Do you agree? Words I heed to the letter, to keep my brood safe. You showed great metal at the gate. The metal of a skilled sword for hire. I want you to provide your services to Sevlor. Offer to guide the Outlanders out of the grove. I'm sure they'll reward you well. They're to be gone before final prayer. If they are not, the Viper must strike. Then they soon know the sting of my venom. Get out. We have no more business. Can that child escape without consequence? We might as well have lain on the ground and let them try. Away. I have no more need of you. <laughs> 